This is a workout on the very famous tune St. Thomas by Sonny Rollins. Uh, it's, this is a, has different components demonstrating the different things that you have to do with the jazz tune if you're really into the scene um, and making this easy. So I'm starting off with playing the tune, which is an easy little tune, and just playing roots so the students will know what the basic harmony is. So. So three, six, two, five, one. Then it repeats that same thing. One, three, six, two, five, one. So there you got it. One, a B flat seven, A seven, but it two, five, one, one, seven, four is a diminished chord. Two, five. And then the second section is just making a little bit more complicated by making a two note left hand chord. So there's your C chord. So I've only got two shapes, a third, a skip, or a shell seventh. C, E, A, D, G, C. starts getting into a process. Then the next section is showing actually three, seven, six chords, and, and then a third on the bottom or the seventh on the bottom. And you've got three rows here, so it could be played. root in the left hand or you can have somebody play the bass and start getting the fancier chords in your left hand and then start improvising on that and it gets to be quite fun All right then we have also written out a two-hand comp version where you're playing and you would practice that with somebody playing a bass or a recorded bass uh, but this is it's really important to learn to break these things up into two hands so somebody else would be playing a bass and somebody else would be playing a melody experience of splitting those hands up. All right, then if you're going to play it solo, it's nice if you can put a walking bass. in the right hand. Trying to bring out that melody and getting the chords under the melody. taking you through different stages of what you have to do when you're arranging a jazz tune or playing it, performing it. <laughs> 